Okay, thank you, good. We are good. Hello, people, welcome to Choco Millionaire. Hope you're having fun. Okay. If you follow me on YouTube, I want you to check and see if Choco Millionaire is live on YouTube as well, okay? Um, check and let me know if I'm live. Choco Millionaire, I'm alive right now. Yes, I'm live. I am live on. Good, 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 good. All right. So no more excuses. Choco, when are you going to post the videos? Now we're going to have the videos on YouTube too. Okay. I managed to figure out something. So, uh, yeah, I'm on live on YouTube. If you are not following me on YouTube, please go and follow me on YouTube. Just in case you are having difficulty finding my videos on Facebook, it should be more easier to find them. The title is there. Same way you are seeing it right now. Can you see that? It's live right now. Live on YouTube. The same name, Chaco Millionaire. I hope it makes your life easy for you, okay? And I'm also going to be tracking the comments. I want to make sure I'm tracking the comments. I can see the comments on the screen, but I want to make sure I'm tracking them in different ways too to make it easy for me, okay? I'm trying to make things easy for everybody. Okay. Chaco Millionaire, you're alive. Good. Beautiful. All right, so we're good. We're good to go. All right, hello, people. Welcome to Choco Millionaire. I want you to have fun as you're on this platform. All we share is quality information, information that is relevant to somebody. Not everybody. Not everybody needs our information, but hey, somebody out there probably needs this information. So today I want to talk about a particular province. Now, in the past, um, just for the record, if you, this is your first time watching me, my name is Choco Millionaire. I'm originally from Ghana and I live in Canada. I make videos on lifestyle. I make videos on families. I make videos on wealth creation. I make videos on immigration trends as well. Even though I'm not an immigration consultant or an immigration expert, I make videos on what we consider to be general information that you could also find yourself. And I hope that it can help you out there. And I also make videos on leadership. I'm very passionate about issues of leadership, especially in Africa. So there are days when you go, you will see me actually Talk about leadership. Don't get angry. If what I talk about is not one of the things you are interested in, just come back again when I'm talking about something that interests you. Otherwise, feel free. Welcome to this platform. And just know that this platform is not an immigration platform. It's a platform of leadership, a platform of content on family, a platform of content on wealth creation, a platform of, for, for immigration trends. So immigration is just one. In fact, on my scheme of preference, is the last of all the things. Right, you guys want me to make it all about immigration, but for me, it's all about, you get what I mean? So I want you to understand that so that you don't accuse me of talking about other things that are not relevant. Okay. Yeah. All right. Today, I want to talk about a particular province where you can study for just one year. So long as it is a post-secondary education. Post-secondary education means any studies that you do, which is more than six months, or it's a full-time study, and it was a study you did at a tertiary level in Canada. It shouldn't be a secondary school. It should be maybe in a university or in a Canadian college. So long as you study one year, minimum one year, and it's a full-time, and it is in a program, or it is from a school, you studied at a school where the school is eligible for postgraduate work permit, right? By offering that program. Bingo, you're good. So which province is this? This is the province of New Brunswick, the province of New Brunswick. Now, for those of you who have followed my videos in the past, there was a time I did a video and I said Saskatchewan, the province of Saskatchewan. It's one of the provinces you can actually do a one-year study and then they have a clear path or a clear opportunity for you to become a permanent resident just after studying one year. Not all provinces are like that. In some provinces, you may need to do another one year again to make it a total of two years of schooling before you are eligible to apply for your permanent residency. But this very province of New Brunswick is one of the provinces that is doing something new. They are updating their immigration uh, opportunities each and every time. You definitely want to keep an eye on New Brunswick, okay? 
Now, just before I go into the details of the program, I want to just give you a little bit of a, a snapshot about the province of New Brunswick. The province of New Brunswick, technically, Canada is, has about 13 different zones, right? 13 zones made up of 10 provinces and three territories. 10 provinces and three territories. So in total, we have about 13 different zones, okay? In terms of the size, New Brunswick ranks about the 11th biggest, the 11th. New Brunswick, that's the size of New Brunswick. It's about 11th on a scale of 13. Out of all the 13 zones, so New Brunswick ranks 11 in terms of size, okay? Now, 80% of the land of New Brunswick is filled with vegetation. Vegetation like forestry, like land, right? And uh, it is also one of the four maritime provinces, the provinces where we have a lot of ocean, a lot of ocean too, okay, or water bodies. So uh, it is part of the maritime provinces in the Atlantic. It is part of the maritime provinces located in the Atlantic part of Canada. In terms of the map, it is located on the east coast of Canada. It is located on the east coast of Canada. I am in the central part of Canada. Right, so we have the central belt where we have Ontario, Quebec, and then we have the western belt where you begin to head towards uh, British Columbia, and then we have the eastern belt as well. Okay, so New Brunswick is towards the Quebec side. All right, from Quebec you are going. In fact, right from Quebec you are entering New Brunswick. From Quebec you are entering New Brunswick. Quebec is located on the northern part of New Brunswick. So if this is New Brunswick, Quebec is at the top. Nova Scotia is at the bottom. You see it? Quebec at the top of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia at the bottom of New Brunswick. And then on the uh on the on the west side, on the west side of it, we have Maine, the state of Maine from the United States also borders New Brunswick. So New Brunswick shares a border with the state called Maine in the United States. And then on the other side as well, we have the the ocean. The ocean is also on the other side. So that is about New Brunswick. Now, in terms of weather, it is one of the coldest places in Canada. The temperature tends to be harsher than where I live in Ontario. Okay? So just to get you ready, nothing to scare you, but just to let you know the temperature that gets more severe. All right? The temperature is pretty harsh. Um, they are also known for fishing. They are known for so many things. Uh, they are mostly an industrial zone and fishing and in industri industrialization. So you have a lot of factories there. You have a lot of um, uh, industries there as well, okay, in the province of New Brunswick. As we speak right now, they are beginning to diversify the economy to drive it more towards the service industry and uh, finance industry and what have you and all, what have you. In Ontario, we are more of a service industry in Ontario, in Quebec. In New Brunswick, it's more of industrial and fishing. But now they are actually beginning to diversify, just like the province of Alberta did some time back. New Brunswick is also doing the same thing. They are diversifying the economy real fast because New Brunswick is basically like the hidden gem of Canada as we speak today. If you are looking for one of the, the fastest growing provinces in Canada, um, trying to keep up with the level of, say, the Ontarios and the Albertas and stuff, New Brunswick is definitely the place. And the government there, the provincial government, which is the government in charge of that province, they are doing everything possible to attract as many immigrants to that area as much as possible. They are aware that that place is more colder than Ontario. So they are doing everything possible to encourage people to migrate there. All right. So that is just a snapshot of the province of New Brunswick. All right. Now, so in this province, they recently launched a program called the uh, Opportunities New Brunswick, Opportunities New Brunswick, ONB. And then under that particular umbrella of uh, whatever initiative they have on there, there is one particular program under it that they are actually promoting. And it is called the International Students Connection Pathway to Getting Your Permanent Residence. International Student Connection. Basically, it's a three letter International Students Connection. That's the name of this one here. New Brunswick International Students Connection. Now, what is this program about? What is this program about? I want to give a special shout out to Lord V. Lord V is one of my followers. Uh, he actually used my videos to actually apply to study in Canada and then he got his visa. 
He has moved in and he has settled successfully in New Brunswick. He was working in Ghana. Great, great job he had. And then, hey, he decided that, you know what? I think I need a move. And he's here. Lord V is a gentleman who has been saying, or who has said, the distance between Canada and heaven, the real heaven, is 30 min min minutes. If you don't understand, you have to talk to him for him to explain to you. Lord V is in New Brunswick right now, so you're speaking. I spoke with him this morning. And uh, he, 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 He's an amazing guy. I'll, I will leave the details. But Lord V, yesterday was your birthday. I want to give you a special belated birthday. Okay, Charlie, you deserve all of it. You you deserve all of it. Right? Share your TikTok. Make people can connect with you, then follow you, then find out more about New Brunswick as well. I know you want TikTok. Share your TikTok, make a promote and small. All right. Now, with the new program, immigration program, what, what what is it about? This international students connection, what is it about? So here is what he says that they want to encourage anybody who studies in a university within New Brunswick or in a college within New Brunswick for a minimum of one year. If you complete it successfully and that program you did is a full-time program. Number two, if that program is also a program you studied in one of the universities that is legally allowed to run programs that lead to postgraduate work permit, postgraduate work permit. You know, I've done a video on that. Not all schools can offer you programs that when you finish studying them, you can actually get your postgraduate work permit. So you got to be a, a postgraduate work permit eligible program or institution. That's the first one there. Now, even if it is not a school which is a public school or a public college or a public university that runs a program leading to postgraduate work permit let's assume that it is also a, a private college a private university or a private institution private they they can get they can help you or get your admission you are able to get your visa but you may not be able to now with new brunswick they have some private colleges that they have approved there are four of them they have approved four private colleges that Ideally, if those colleges were in Ontario, you wouldn't have used them to get a postgraduate work permit. But with New Brunswick, they have actually included this particular pro, uh, institutions, private colleges, in this particular international students' connection. So even if you go to these particular private colleges, aside from the public ones that everybody goes to, you will still be eligible to get your permanent residence if you do the one-year study. Stay tuned. I'm going to mention the name of this particular uh, uh, institutions and then we make sure we know all right but i want you to get a general overview okay the general overview is that all you need is a one-year study at either college level or at the university level in new brunswick it doesn't have to be a part-time it has to be a full time if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it do me a favor help me promote this platform get this information out there trust me people get scammed you have no idea how our people are getting scammed. You have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to make sure we are actually promoting quality information. If you think this information is helpful to you, please consider hitting the share button there. Share it everywhere. Share it on your social media. Let people come across this for me. Somebody is actually going to pay somebody today or tomorrow several thousands of dollars to want to come and study in this same place. Right? You can help them by just sharing information like this. Show me that you're actually part of this platform and you're promoting this platform as well. All right. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button and then make sure you activate the notification so that when I go live, you can see it on YouTube as well. There's no more excuse. Choco, we don't have your videos on YouTube. Now you are getting a live on YouTube. You're also getting a live on my Facebook. The name is the same. Choco Melonia. And if you go on Facebook, you want to make sure you're looking for Choco Melonia with almost 90,000 followers with over 1,000 reviews, right? Because there are some people who are trying to create fake, fake, fake accounts with the same name trying to copy me. Hey, so make sure when you come on Facebook, if you are not watching this on Facebook right now, and you're watching this on my YouTube channel right now, and you go on Facebook, when you type Choco Melonia, make sure you are seen with almost 90,000 followers, with over 1,000 positive reviews, five star. It is here. Uh, make you not just go follow anybody with it. 20 people, 30 people, 100 people where they follow them. Don't be maybe that. You see ya? Uh-huh. All right. So please, please, please hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. 
and then hit the notification button as well the bell the bell icon whenever i go live you're going to get that update as well okay share this video tag your friends share them as well okay i am fired up this morning just because i'm broadcasting both on facebook Charlie is sweet too see first first i broadcast on facebook then i for sit down go download and i go it be stressful see ya. thank god see right now they do them live you see ya. all right okay so you've done your one year study the school has a designated learning institution number dli you have also checked your program and the program is eligible for programming web permit or even though it's a private college in New Brunswick, it is among the four schools that the government of New Brunswick has approved for you to use to still get your papers. The program you have also selected is just one year. You have successfully finished it. In fact, a one-year program is technically just eight months of schooling. Eight months. Four months of first semester, four months of second semester, job done. <laughs> so technically eight months. All right. So Choco, I have finished you. What next? Voila, you are ready to apply for your PR. All you need is to gather your documents and quickly apply. Let me see if I can share a document on the screen. Is there a way I can share a document? Is there a way I can share a screen? Hey, I wish I could share my screen. Oh, I'm, I'm going to learn how to use this app very well. I will share screen so that you guys can see as they read and they see them. But make I just summarize them. Hmm? So when you finish your study, yeah? Me, I they recommend say you, sh you should not even wait till you finish your studies. The moment you enter your second semester, start gathering your documents for PR. The moment you enter your second semester, start organizing your documents that you're going to need to do your PR. For you to do your PR, you're going to need two important things. One, you need to have created an express entry profile. You need to have an active express entry profile. You heard what I said, right? Express entry profile. Don't struggle. I have videos on my YouTube and right here on Facebook about express entry. For you to participate in this, you need to have an active express entry profile. That's the first thing. Number two, you need to also create a profile with the province of New Brunswick. And that profile is called expression of interest profile. Expression of interest. Expression of interest. E-O-I. Expression of interest. You are going to, in fact, when you enter the country, this one, I explain, make you understand. When you enter the country, you understand all of them are standing. Well, you understand. You know where to find all of them. So basically, you create your express entry profile. Then you go to the province of New Brunswick's uh, immigration website. You click on expression of interest. Boom. They will ask you questions about yourself. Your name, your date of birth, blah, blah. We, we, there we know they lie. We go use the same information they use to apply for your visa. Registrate from your passport number, blah, 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 blah. You create your profile for them. Boom. Then you're there inside. They would have asked you if you studied in New Brunswick. You say yes. Where did you school? They would have asked you all those questions there. Boom. Then you put the information inside. So your express entry profile has been created. Your expression of interest profile with the province of New Brunswick government has also been created. You have the two of them ready. What next? You just wait for them to send you an email or an invitation letter telling you that congratulations, you've been nominated to you've been nominated by the provincial government of New Brunswick to apply for your permanent residency using the International Students Connection uh, Immigration Program, which has been approved by the province of New Brunswick. So they send you that invitation and then they will tell you how many days you have. Normally they will give you about 60 days to gather all your documents and then submit them for permanent residency. 60 days is two months. All right. For you to create your expression of interest and for you to also create your uh, uh, express entry profile, there are basic things you're going to need. You're going to need, for example, to show proof that you have actually completed your requirements to, to study in Canada, in New Brunswick. You should have shown proof that you have actually, you have no outstanding academic responsibilities. Now, for some people, this means that they may have to 
wait until they do their graduation and get their diploma certificate from the school they study in Brunswick. That is one way. For other people, you may not need to wait till you even do your graduation. The moment you do your last exams and the grades are posted, the, the grade, the grade, the score is posted on your student uh, portal and you can see it. You can actually go to your international student's office and tell them to give you a letter which is called eligibility to graduate. There is a letter we call eligibility to graduate. That letter is basically a proof from the school you studied that you have met all the requirements to graduate. There is no outstanding requirement. So even though this gentleman or this woman has not yet been given the, the diploma at the graduation event, we can confirm that this person has what? Finish. Me, that is what I did though. When I finished my school, I didn't even wait for graduation. Boom, I went for that letter. Call it eligibility to graduate. So long as all your grades are out, you have no more courses to take, you go for that letter. And then with that letter, boom, you start putting your things together. So that letter is necessary. Either your graduation proof that you've graduated, which is your diploma certificate, or the eligibility to graduate document from your institution is enough for you to. You shouldn't have an outstanding course. If there is a course you have not done, you are not going to graduate. So they, the school will not even issue you that letter if you have, you have not finished all your courses. All right? Then you also need to take the language test. For you to become a permanent resident in Canada, you need to take a language test. Now, for those who don't live in Canada, they have to take the IELTS general exams, IELTS general. For those of us who already live in Canada and we are schooling in Canada, say in places like New Brunswick, you have an, another option. Instead of taking the IELTS general exams, you can actually take what we call CEL PIP, C E L P I P, C E L P I P. Now, IELTS is run by the British government, British Council mostly. And in most countries outside of Canada, it's British Council. Now, Basel PIP is actually a Canadian version of ours, run by the Canadian government. You see them? So if you live in Canada, you can either, either do the ours general exams or you can do cell PIP. From what I've heard people say so far, they say the cell PIP is much easier to pass than the ours if you live in Canada. So talk to people and figure out which one is working for them. At the time I did my PR, there was no cell PIP, so I only did the ours general. But when I finish, then they introduce a the cell pick. So now people are taking cell pick too in Canada, right? Figure out which one you are okay with and do that. So you're going to need to at least start preparing for your language test. My recommendation is that do not wait for you to finish your second semester. The moment you enter your second semester, start preparing to take the language test so that you would have achieved or gotten your language test result ready even before you actually graduate or finish or your last course whilst you are in school all right so you have your language test ready you have a valid ghana passport cameroonian passport kenyan passport you are not yet a canadian citizen so you have your Af african passport whichever one and uh, it hasn't expired if your passport is expiring make sure in fact the moment you have less than six months in it go, go and go and go and extend your passport too Eh? Never let your passport run down. Make sure you've extended your passport. It's not expired. A lot of us may have our passports expiring before we even graduate from school. We don't pay attention to this. So make sure you're actually checking all of this, all right? So your passport is ready. Your language test has been done before you graduated. You, 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 you are ready to go and create your express. You, you can get your letter of eligibility to graduate or you, you want to even wait till you graduate, whichever one is good for. I don't recommend you wait for you to graduate. The moment you finish that last paper, go get that letter there from your school, right? Because <laughs> these things are time bound. Time grants really, really fast. All right. Okay. You would have also applied for your postgraduate work permit. Postgraduate work permit is the permit that allows you to continue staying in Canada when you finish school. So make sure you also put your application in for your postgraduate work permit. Now, you know by following Choco Melonia, that you don't even need to submit the application for a postgraduate work permit online. You can literally go to the border between Canada and US near you. At least you know in New Brunswick, there is the state of Maine from the United States. There, you can actually go to that border, right? Get a car if you have a car at that time, or get some friends. Let them drive you, go to the border, go and do that U-turn at the US border back into Canada, what we call Flagpole, and boom, within the same day, go get your postgraduate work work permit you see him go get that so that it allows you to continue staying in canada after you finish your school you see him 
be so. All right. So now you have a postgraduate work permit. You have all your documents lined up. What next? You created your expression of interest. You created your express entry profile too. The two are ready. Then you just wait for the province of New Brunswick to send you an invitation telling you that, hey, you're good to go ahead and apply for your permanent residency through this particular program called International Students Connection. They are going to ask you as part of the documents to submit to complete your application for permanent residence. They may ask you a bunch of documents. Some of them could be your medicals. You have to go and do medicals for your PR, right? You'll be doing medicals. You'll be, you'll be having to show that you are actually are allowed to graduate, which is the eligibility to graduate letter. You have to submit your language test report, all right? Um, that you've actually completed the language test as well. You, you, you may also have to, in fact, you are also going to have to show them that you are really interested in living in New Brunswick. You have to show them that you have a connection with the province. You have a tie. You see this proof of tie where they take warriors when they apply for visa. They get some for PR2 for this program. Proof of tie to New Brunswick. So here, basically, you have to gather certain documents that show that, Charlie, you love the province so much you want to stay after school. Now, I've done this. This is what I did when I was doing my own PR in Ontario. So I'm pretty familiar with those kind of documents, right? What are some of the documents? One, show them a proof of your lease agreement or your tenancy agreement that you live in the province. Showing them your lease, a copy of your lease agreement goes to show that this person has been living in this province and so there is a likelihood that they still want to live in this province. So the proof of your tenancy agreement is one way to show that you have some kind of connection with the province. Show them your phone bills for the last few months, maybe last two, three, four months. Your phone bills. Your phone bills will have your address. Your phone bill would have come with your New Brunswick address, isn't it? Once your address is on that phone bill, then it's in your name. It shows that, hey, man, you see, even the cell phone that they use, it will be Ontario, it'll be New Brunswick. You see, yeah. So if you are the type who got your cell phone from Ontario before you moved to New Brunswick, no problem. Call your service provider and tell them to change your address on file from Ontario too. You see, some of you are in New Brunswick right now, but you started from Ontario. So when you get there, don't forget, tell the cell phone company to update your address to reflect New Brunswick. Got that address, it will show for your phone built up. Wait, if you submit down, it will see say Charlie, you you be you be native, you there, you be resident, you see. Yeah? Uh -huh. All right. You may also have to attach your credit card statement to show that hey, I get credit cards where I spend money for this province. So see yeah. So me, I remember when I was doing my own, I added my credit card statement. I added about the last two or three statements. It showed my full name, it showed my address. Boom, I added it. Why did I add it? Just to I don't want to show them, say Charlie, this place will be here, my life deal. So all these documents go to show proof that you were true, true New Brunswick guy. You see, yeah. it be so, it be so, it be so, it be so. So these be some of the things where Charlie, where they put together. And then if you have a driver's license, you would have added your driver's license too. Maybe you've gotten your New Brunswick driver's license, right? Your driver's license will have your name and your New Brunswick address. You could take a picture of that one, you could scan them. See, you scan them, boom, then you go add them. You see them? If you even have a health card, you go fix scan them to you go add them. Basically, you they show them, say, you have so much that connects you to this province. Your whole life is built around the province of New Brunswick. And then, of course, um, it is also recommended that you write a letter explaining to them why you want to move or you want to stay, continue staying in New Brunswick permanently. Um, so I remember writing my own letter and I gave them a lot of reason. I said, you know what? Since I came to Canada, Ontario has been the only province I have lived. No other province. My whole life has been here. I went to school here. I work here. I do. Oh. And I, I wrote that letter and I said, look, my work life is built here. My phone bills, my everything is here. I mentioned that I actually go to church. I go to church in the same province. This is where my life has been built. My social life, my economic life, my financial life everything spiritual life has all been here so i have the interest of being a useful member of this particular province so i can contribute to the growth of the province then you go write a letter nicely and then in that letter you go tell them all the things that you have added you know i have attached for proof of my connection to the province please find attached a copy of my driver's license a copy of blah 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 copy my blah, blah. you go add all of that you see in fact you should even add your letter of employment and your pay slips if you have been working already, and your payslip will show your name and your address. 
your letter of employment will show that you work in the province. So you will add all those things to your documents. No? We see those documents they call them proof of connection to the province. You see, they already know you live there, but they want you to show them that you are really interested in staying there. No, we say they won't just use them, use them, get PR and disappear. You see, uh -huh. uh, in their mind, they, they, they know that maybe after two, three years ago, move go Ontario, but for the time in Charlie, for for companies that say you don't want to stay, you see, you see what I mean. So basically, you add all these documents, and um, yeah, uh, you you will also be needing at some point to show a proof of settlement fund as a permanent resident. This proof of settlement fund is required for all PR programs, except for immigration programs, maybe. So uh, you may have to show them that you have some money in your bank account, which will allow you to continue staying as a permanent resident. They have a different threshold depending on the size of your family. If it's just you, your, 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 your amount is different from people who are maybe trying to add their family members from back home in. You are allowed to add your nuclear family, by the way. So if at this time you are the one who came to study here, but your wife is home or your husband is in Africa or your children are ordered, you can add all of them. And when they issue it, all of them people, everybody is going to get happy or something. You see, nuclear family will not be extended. Don't go and add your Nana Kanswa and your ex girlfriend and your husband. Nuclear family pair. You see, I don't go and add your uncle and your pastor in your church saying they love us. So only nuclear family. You see, nuclear family pair. You see, mother, father, children, dependents. You see what that means? Yeah, it is so, it is so, it is so. So that is a New Brunswick International Students Connection. Remember, all you need is one year program. Now, somebody is asking, so Choco. The province of New Brunswick, what, what are the schools I can study? I don't want to start with the lowest of school fees there. My research has shown, correct me if I'm wrong, if you know better, if you have a better information or you know something I don't know, let me know. But as we speak today, my research has shown that the school in New Brunswick with the lowest school fees for international students is New Brunswick Community College. No, no two ways about it. As at the time of making this video, that's what I know. New Brunswick Community College is the school that Choco Millionaires at the time of making this video. So correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you have seen another school that I haven't seen. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the only school with the cheapest school fees for international students. But what do you mean by that? For an international student to do a one-year program in New Brunswick Community College, the school fees is $9,460 something dollars. International one year program. Write it down there. Not US dollars, Canadian dollars. 9,000, roughly 9,500 Canadian dollars. That's the school fees. That's the school fees. Did you see them? 9,000 for one year program. Less than $10,000 for one year program. Now, you see the difference, right? This is a Naira College, 17, 18,000. Centennial College, 18, 17,000. Seneca College, 15, 16, 17, 18,000. You see the Ontario schools, you see they'll be very expensive. But you see New Brunswick, see them. What you go take pay one semester school fees for Ontario, you mean we go take go do one year school fees for New Brunswick. So this particular province is also a strategic province for anybody with low budget. Anybody who is working with a tight budget, this is where you actually should be looking at. Especially if you want to study in a college. $9,000, $10,000, you are able to get a program right there. Now, let me see if I can actually show you one by just going online and pulling up uh, one example for you. So I'm going to go on Google right now and type New Brunswick International College, uh, New Brunswick Community College International Programs, okay? So this is what I've typed. I typed New Brunswick. I typed the name of the school, New Brunswick Community College, and then I left a space and I added International Students Program. And then it brought me right here, as you can see. You see? Now, International Program, so I'm going to click on that. You see? It was updated last time on February 13, so I'm scrolling on that. And then you're going to see the programs right there. Fall, fall means September. The semester or the academic year of uh, September, which is 2023, these are the programs that are available. Administrative professional. Applied energy. Business administration. 
carpentry, CNC machining, community pharmacy assistance. So let me even click on this. For somebody who has a health background, let me even go and look for personal support worker. So let me scroll down a bit more and look for personal support worker. Welding and metal fabrication, social service community worker, plumbing. International business management. This program is also available at Niagara College, but this time Niagara College will offer this program to you for about 18,000, okay? Hotel and restaurant management, human resource. Hey, I didn't look for personal support. It'd be like I said, that cost, it, it go. Yesterday, the cost was there. It's already gone crap. People apply away, he <laughs> finish it. <laughs> Let me know if I missed it. Personal support worker, where are you Where are you You know they? Okay, you know they? Okay, make her even pick another semester and see. Uh, this is 2024. Hey, 2024 too, everything go like that. All right. Now, in case you are wondering why the programs are, is it people apply for them so, so, so fast because of their tuition. The tuition is so low, so their programs don't last at all, especially with Choco Millionaire blasting their name like this since I started my program. Now, so I click on Community Pharmacy Assistant for 2023. Now, let's look at the tuition, okay? So I'm going to click on tuition. See, um, domestic students. Domestic student, Colombia, Canadians, then permanent residents. You see how much did they pay? So I don't want to make you notice the difference between how much international students pay and how much. So let me even scroll down better so you can see the 2,000 more. Okay. Where the 2,000 day? Okay. Give me one second. I want to scroll to the 2,000. Okay. The 2,000 are here. Now, guys, watch this. For somebody who is a domestic student, meaning they are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, you see how much they pay? For this same program, they pay $3,380. A year, one year. This be how much local people will they pay. You see how? Okay. By you, where you be international, no? you see how much they pay? 9000 So you can see that the school fees is three times less for Canadians and what? Permanent residents. But for international, you see the total for there, nine thousand four hundred and sixty-eight dollars, roughly nine thousand five hundred. Every semester, it be two semester, four then winter ten. Each semester, your school fees be four thousand seven hundred and something. All right, so you see them. We all them are programs, so they must they must be the same. This be one of the things that they like about this college. Almost all them are programs. They must be the same. So long as it be one year, it be the same price. But if you go other colleges, the school fees changes based on the program type. But in Brunswick, almost all of them are programs. So long as the number of years be the same, the school fees be the same. That is one of the things I like about this school. You see, I'm going to talk to you right now. Eh? Somebody will go pay a fake agent in Nigeria. Three, four, five thousand to apply for this same school. Wisdom say Choco has already shown. Those of you who are on my subscribers page, you know there is a video there I posted. Webinar. I did a webinar recently, showed you how to apply to this school step by step, like A, B, C, D. Showed you. If you follow me on Facebook and you have subscribed to my Facebook channel, you know you have it. If you have also participated in a webinar I did recently on Telegram, you know. So look at this. With a one year program for as low as 9,400, you can actually study in this college. The minimum education level is secondary school. Secondary school. So long as you hold a secondary school or O level or A level or whichever one it is, some of you did O level, you're good. Recently, I assisted somebody to apply. O level, we take apply. O level from 1980, something, the time we did not bomb myself. The man studied, study already. He said, they, they, they can't study for you. You see him? Uh huh. They, they can't study. Now, here is the thing not only does this school have one of the cheapest college tuitions in the whole of Canada. Not even New Brunswick alone, the whole of Canada. This school, they are supposed to be paying you. If you know them and they go and tell them, there is a guy called Chocolate Millionaire promoting, you need to go and see him and buy him coffee. <laughs> Not only, let me tell you the interesting part. Do you know that when they offer you the admission, by giving you what we call LOA, Letter of Acceptance, they don't stress. They know the stress. Like other schools, they will tell you they pay fair semester school fees. 
pay 60% of the school fees. Pay this. This is really stressful. They only they ask for $500. Just $500 to secure your spot where they give you the admission. They will give you about one month to just pay $500. $500 out of the $9,400. No. However, the $500 is non-refundable, meaning regardless of what happens, if you choose not to go, you get denied your visa, and you choose not to come again, you will never get it. Non-refundable means it can never be refunded to you. So I'm telling you straightforward because I know say you no go read them. <laughs> Even if you did a letter of admissions, I know say you no go understand them or you no go see them. So I didn't tell you, see them. Uh -huh. That'd be the only bad thing. But me like this, I'm willing to let go $500 if you go reduce my stress. You said you did them, your bank statements said you know they get them. So if a school, they admit you, they really stress you, just $500, it means that, look, if they watch me right now, we, you be, uh, you be, uh, 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 bless, bless, uh, uh, bless, uh, to, 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 my brother, or you be some poor guy where you don't get money, sir, but you feel manage, get the ad application done for this school, $100 to apply to the school, right? $100 to apply. And then you feel hustle to get $500 to sort out that, uh, uh, commitment fee when they admit you. And God blesses somebody to be your sponsor with a good bank statement. Where your prayers to the work, whether it be Alpha Hour prayer or Omega Hour prayer, your prayers they work. God to know your situation. So God touched the officer, this officer in high. Boom. This will be one of the schools where they distress you with pay half semester, half fees, half fees. Some of you right now, you apply to Seneca, you apply to Centennial, you apply to all of them, no problem. But you know the moment they will start to tell you they pay three thousand, pay four thousand, pay five thousand, pay six thousand. See, for a lot of people, this is where they are cut out. It is easy to get the admission, but they cannot pro pro progress to the next level. So, me, my personal opinion, we say, if you be the person where money be your problem, this be the school for the target because Choco has approved it. And the day I gave this school to somebody in 2017, the person thanked me. Ah, I said, you just solved my biggest problem. Money was my problem. You only pay $500, which is the minimum the school said you should pay when they admit you. So long as you pay that $500, you're good. Go and get your good bank statement with your supporting document and put in the visa application. And you see, uh, New Brunswick Community College be that. There are several other colleges there, but Choco, they talk, say, from my research, you know, this be the cheapest one. Why they tell you, say, by the time we will finish this video, self, most of the programs you see for that, they will disappear. Why? People make, wow, they see, um, uh, some fake agent did it right now, they watch me. You see, um, you say, hey, Choco, give me one square. They go use get more clear for Niger Ghana. He's a fake agent. They go sell them. Let me so. They go sell them. Fake agent. They go sell them. You got it free. They go sell them. See your face. Eh? Smelling bottles. You take day there. See your face. Smelling bottles. Eh? Dirty boss ashes. You take day there. They go sell them. All your head, everything. Commercialize it. Sell it. Everything. You can never do things. Even if you were taking two, three hundred dollars to help people apply class, you go talk to you. Raw for us, they go sell them ten thousand dollars. See your face for them. Your mum move face. Then you finish. They go church. You go church. Yesterday were you in church? Three days ago were you in church? Who are you praying to? Fool. We they pray to who? See your life. You are part of the struggle in Africa. You see, and are they sought to make you enter you because I know they like you. You guys are the ones who are making life difficult for many of our brothers. You see them. Hey, my brothers today they listen. They follow me well, well, but now they will, they will learn to do everything and kick you out of business. Yeah, that to me, do for me, family, DFM. Do for me, do for me, DFM, do for me, do for me. Check, somebody do for me, do for me. They'll never learn how to do this. Even when you show them step by step, click here, Google, click here, go here, go here. They won't do it. They won't learn to do it. Do for me, do for me. I don't know Google. Where is Google? Which station is Google? I don't know. Do for me, DFM, do for me. Yeah, we know they do for nobody for here. We they do DIY. D do it yourself. DIY. Do it yourself. DIY. We teach you, we empower you, we teach you how to do this thing. Keep the damn fake agents out of business. See him. Don't come and tag me and say somebody has been duped though. Tell the person, when they subscribe to do for me, family, this be all that will happen. You can learn to do everything by yourself. Because Choco is interested in coaching you to do it yourself. My other friends are also interested. Just ask Nancy, Peter Bewa, hey for no more words. Eh? Say, basically, God is raising an army of people to coach you on everything. You, know? eh? you they have issues with Bansi, Bansi, you go hey, for you go teach you how to run that one too. You want to go to Germany, just ask Nancy that you want to go to Dubai. My big sister, Amma Manson, is also there. You want to go to US. God is raising an army of people who are here to selflessly serve you. 
you cannot this new year 2023 will we enter you are going to make yourself a promise you will learn to do things by yourself not because we are telling you to go and crack your head though, but because people are willing to teach you will you learn or you go and join the do for me family when you join do for me don't come and tell me that you have been scammed because i will i will give it to you hot what 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 before i will release you you know my words are sharp they pierce This is Chuckle Millionaire, New Brunswick Community College. There are a lot of other schools there just in case you, you, you want to study in them. I will mention some of the names. Their school fees are a little bit higher. I've checked some of them. Some of them are as expensive as 15,000, 16,000, 17,000 in the same New Brunswick. That is what I'm telling you. If you're a low budget person, you gotta make New Brunswick College your thing. It is here, make up. And when you start that application, you better submit it to because look, this has happened to me. Chima Obilo. You know Chima Obilo? Three or four days ago, I was helping him to apply. I promised him I was going to take care of his uh, application process and blah, 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 blah. So I said, okay, go online. Let's apply. He went. He applied. Looking for computer engineering program. You know the guy, the software guy. He's a computer guy. As he applied, finished. He sent me the login, said, Choco, please review everything. And then uh, at the time he was trying to get me, you know me, I'm always busy. I was busy on the road. By the time I got the message, went to login, the program was no longer available. It's gone. In less than how many hours? The program was already gone. Even though at the time he was applying, he was there. Within the hours of gap, we went back, the program was already gone. What, what do you mean by gone? It means many people have already taken it. And the way they do their college application there is based on first come, first set. It's not based on who are the first class, who are the second class. No. So long as they hit the number of intake, like people who apply, they take the program off. Because they don't want you. you see, they, they are not like one of African universities and schools. Where they go make you go apply. You go apply. You go apply. When they know they cannot admit you, but they would let you spend money and apply. Colleges for here, they, they do it like that too. The moment they have this number of people applying, boom, they will take the program off. Until the people they admit do not meet the requirements or fail to meet the requirement, then we'll release the programs again. Because they don't want to take nobody's money and promise you no admission. You see? Uh -huh. So if you are not quick in applying, the programs you see, yesterday, personal support worker was there. Health workers are in the building. Health workers with that. Nurses, you did it. Some of you have taken that program already. You know. uh, midwives from Ghana, Nigeria. You know. Number one, run away. Grace Lavi and Co. Have a program or more. more. <laughs> of course. Now, what if you don't find a program? Look for something similar to your background. If you're a science guy, look for something in science. If you're a business guy, look for something in business. Don't do unnecessary crossover. Don't go from animal husbandry and be crossing over to what? Political science. What, are, what do they have in common? Look for something which is in your background, even if you don't find the, find the direct program. If you're an IT guy, networking, find something which is in IT, something which is science. If you are an engineer, you can choose something and, you know, it's something. Just make sure you choose your program so that when you're applying for your visa, you don't have to explain to the officer why you jump from religion to, you know, mathematics with, with no connection. You know what I mean? Yeah, be smart about it. Now, I also recommend that. Unless you genuinely want to do a two-year program at New Brunswick Community College, go for the one-year programs. The reason is that if one-year program is all you need to get your PR, why would I choose a two-year program? Do you know you can see the duration of the program on the program information page? Let me give you an example for on how you can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, let me just go here. You can see. So these are the programs, okay? Now, let me say that I am actually applying for pharmacy, uh, what, pharmacy, community pharmacy assistant. So anybody from a nursing background, this course, you can take it. A midwife, you can take this course. If you don't see acute personal support, you can take it because in the, it's in the family of science. Pharmacy, nurse, you are all health workers. No be so, all right. So make a click on them. Uh, click. Okay. Now, after clicking, let's say that. So if you want to see the tuition, boom, you go press. If you want to apply, you click on the apply now. The school fees is there if you want to see it. 
How do I see the duration of this program? This is it. This is where you see it. This is it. Under the duration. The, re the requirement for this certificate may be achieved within one year. It means it's a one-year program. It's a one-year program. And I know the requirements already. Minimum secondary school is at the top. Requirements. It's there. Admission requirements. Secondary school. Doesn't mean if you have a polytechnic, you can't. It's even better. University degree is even better. Master's degree is even better. But minimum, all you need is your secondary school. Whether you like it or not, they may come back and ask you for a secondary school document. Hmm? Somebody say HR. What about HR? There is a program there for HR. Let's check it out. So somebody is asking about HR. Let's go and see the HR administration. I saw HR somewhere. If you don't find your program, keep going through, you find something. Ah, this is HR, isn't it? Human, okay, this is human service. This is human service, okay. I thought I saw HR earlier. Information, international business management. All right. Uh, I'll show you the website. It will make I go find them, give you. You go find them yourself too. No be so. Make I just pick another one and go. So let's say I am looking at administrative. Um, Okay, let's say business accounting. Let me pick business. Okay. Uh, this one. So business administration with specialization in accounting. Let's see the school fees. The school fees, you can click on tuition. But let's see this column. Duration. Two years. The requirements for this diploma program may be achieved within two academic years of full-time study. So it tells you whether it's a one year or two years. But you know what Chaka Milonia is saying? If there is an option for you to go and choose a one-year program, if you're a business guy, I know you want to be administration, administration, but if budget is your problem, choose a one-year program. Because the two-year program, the way they, if you know finish the entire two year, you know we'll get your certificate too. There is no half studies here. Oh. Say you have done half of the, the study, so they should be, nobody will give you until you do all of the two years. So if money is your problem, divert into something that will make do the thing for you mm -hmm. i know you are an administrator you want to go into business administration can it can on, make or break you want to enter into it if you have the money go and do the two-year program if it's a two-year program but if you don't have the money look for something in the family of business right so this one administration is two years isn't it L let's go back and let me go and pick ibm let me go and pick ibm international business management International Business Management. Where are you? I. Okay. IBM. Okay. I can't take any call, unfortunately, guys. International Business Manager. Okay. Remember, they are all in the family of business. So, marketing, accounting, administration, HR, family of business. So, if one nowhere, boom, you go, go with the other one. Okay. I they go for the duration straight. What be the duration? Oh, I pass on. But they don't they don't know I'm online. What your course in the spirit? I don't pick cause. Oh, my friend, I mean pick it. Uh, where they go first? They say this guy doesn't pick cause. No, I'm doing my father's work. Uh, to get hold of me is not easy. You go call uh, some people will get angry. They say, ah, okay. Look at this. This requirement for this graduation, okay, the requirement for this graduate certificate program may be achieved within... Oh, my goodness. And the members of the choir and the church will respond in the bottle. Within what? Is it not in business? So, the other one, you say you'll be an accountant, so you go do a math. By the time you say you don't get money, you go finish that two-year program if you choose it. You will not blame anybody because I told you, if you are working with budget, you have to be strategic with your choices. If you are not working with budget and money is not your problem, go do the two-year program. No problem. But if you're working with budget, remember, there is no half education. It's either you are starting and you are finishing or you are starting and you get stuck and you pull out and you lose your money. This is the mistake a lot of people make. They will go and pick a four-year program, but they don't have the money to finish the four years. Forgetting that doing one year of it does not give you the degree for four years. You see it? So if your problem is money, be wise with your choices. It is not a make or break that whatever you want is what you must study. Smart people know how to quickly make up. See what I mean? You want to study international relations. If you don't get it, branch into something else. 
After all, this is not a country of just degrees and degrees. See, um, your main pain is PR. You know, be so get a job done. When you finish, you can, you can branch into any area. This is the only country me I have lived in in my whole life. Where if you apply for a job, they don't write there. You must have a first class or first degree. Blah, blah. They just look for your competencies on the job. It's not even about, you know. We got to go talk, say, you should have a master's. You should have a PhD. You should have, you no, know, no, Yeah, they read that too. If you be papers they want, be smart with your choices. Choco has said it already. I think I've covered everything already. There are a couple of other schools. In fact, if you go on Google and you type list of schools, names of schools and colleges in New Brunswick or universities and colleges in New Brunswick, it's going to give you a whole list of Google. All right? Some of the private universities are Mackenzie College, Mackenzie, M-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E, Mackenzie, Mackenzie College. We also have uh, Eastern College, Eastern, East, Eastern College. And um, we, we, we have a couple of other colleges that they are, they are all. We also have Yorkville, Yorkville College. If you can write some of this in the comment section on YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you're watching from, I appreciate all of you there. Type them there. Yorkville. How do we spell Yorkville? Y for Yankee, O for Oscar or Orange, R for Romeo, K for Kweku Mesa. You see, yeah? V for Victoria or V for Bonanier, Vodafone. You see, yeah? I for Indiana, you see, or India, you see, L for Larry, L for Larry again, E for Eric, Bonanier, uh -huh. Yorkville College. It's also one of them. What you're going to find is that these colleges are more expensive than New Brunswick Community College. They are also all private. These colleges I mentioned, they are all private colleges, but the government has already approved them for you to actually still get your papers when you study there. These private colleges. Do your own research as well. I'll be coming your way with it. If you liked today's broadcast, today's broadcast is so, so different. First time I'm broadcasting both on YouTube and Facebook. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, I also have a YouTube with the same name. Just go on YouTube and type Chocolate Millionaire. I do have close to 300 videos there already. And it makes it easy for you if you have a challenge finding the videos there. Uh, you know, when you go on YouTube, if you want to download them, if you want to do whatever to them do, right? Good. And share this video as well. And let's keep going. Let me see if there are some questions here that I can take. I mentioned three colleges out of the four. The other one, I forgot the name. Um, um, so the first one I mentioned is, is um, Eastin College. Eastin. Eastin College. Then I mentioned Yorkville College. Uh, and then the other one is Mackenzie College. M-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E. Mackenzie College. Then there is one more that I forgot the name. They are all private colleges uh, that have been approved. Even though they are private, if you study them, you can use them to still get your papers. Then we also have a university. We have a lot of universities in New Brunswick as well. Uh, one of them is in New Brunswick University. We have a lot of other universities as well. I'm pretty sure I will do another video and come your way. The essence of today's video is to let you know that with one year study, you get your papers. So unless you have a serious business of coming to Ontario, and unless you have the money to go through maybe the one-year programs or two-year programs in Ontario to get your papers. If money is your problem, please focus on New Brunswick. New Brunswick Community College is definitely your choice if you do not have money. Lower school fees, one year. School fees of one semester in Ontario will pay the school fees of one year in New Brunswick Community College. Their commitment fee when they offer you admission is also the lowest, $500, not refundable, easy peasy. You can easily get that. And with the blessing of a good bank statement and a good supporting document, you could be on your way to Canada and to study and then finish your study and get your PR just after one year of study. I must also add that there is a window of time from the time you graduate or complete your studies to the time that you must apply for your PR. If you want to participate in the International Students Connection Program that I'm talking about right now, you have a period of six months from the time you complete your studies to apply. If you go beyond six months, you're automatically out of it. In other words, from the time you complete your last paper and get your eligibility to graduate letter, or from the time you graduate and get your diploma certificate, you have six months to submit your application. If you do not submit it and you dilly-dally because you failed to uh, renew your your Ghana passport on time and so you, me I'm telling you if your passport is expiring and you don't plan to do it Ghana government or Ghana embassy will mess you up 
they will you will spend close to one year before you get your passport without your passport you cannot also do the application for your pr you will need your ghana passport or a niger passport to do it that is why i'm telling you that you must be planning everything ahead of time the moment you are in your second semester in fact if you know your passport has less than one year you should start spending it all don't come and stay here and then you you'll be disappointed me i'm telling you i'm telling you ghana government especially in niger those two people siamis twins or identical twins born out of wedlock separated at birth those two those two countries eh one you cannot tell who is better than bad those two countries there if you want to put your hope on them to get your passport in two three weeks when you're in canada trying to do this program you by the time you wake up jesus has come they will mess you up i'm telling you so you have to make sure you plan these things ahead you also need to make sure you get your language test ahead of time many people will not listen to advice they will just come here, work, 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 no time, no time for nothing, no time for planning. They will work and make their money all right. Then they will graduate and realize that they don't have their language test ready. They will now start chasing appointment days to go for appointment to do language test. Why? They fail to plan ahead of time. When Choco was hammering in, they said the guy was talking too much. When he gets there, you know. Do you know how many people I meet and then they are running out of time because they never plan. They prioritize work over everything. Two, three shifts, four, five shifts. That's what they are doing. They are making the money. No wisdom to plan their immigration status. And this program clearly says that you have a six-month window from the time you leave school to apply. If you go beyond that six-month window, you are out of it. That is what I read. Correct me if you have seen something better. Okay? All right. This is Chaco Millionaire. I hope you have gotten it there. Let me see if there are any questions there. Post your questions on YouTube. I'm tracking this on both YouTube. I'm also tracking this on Facebook as well. So post your question. I'm going to take a few questions related to what we've done. And uh, we'll call it a day after that, okay? So please, please, please keep your questions coming and I will read them. On YouTube, keep your questions coming. Let me see if we have some questions coming from YouTube. Facebook, keep your questions coming. Mm -hmm. Ghana and Nigeria, identical twins or Siamese twin, born out of wedlock, separated at birth born bad two of them you don't know which one bad pass the other <laughs> choco millionaire is also beautiful country so messed up corruption see him yeah choco millionaire me i talk so on tia say you know they understand go look for one transformer and hug it hug him kiss her <laughs> yeah all right let me take some questions here all right so there are 58 people watching on facebook that is great uh, let me see if there are some questions. Let me start with my guys on, sorry, YouTube first. 58 people watching on YouTube. And then we have over 200 and something people watching on my Facebook channel. So let's see here. Um, okay. God bless you, my brother, for sharing this information. This is from Gideon Archery Nyakon on, face, on YouTube. Thank you. Uh, it's great to see you live on YouTube today, my SLS, Frank Do. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to, for the first time, broadcast on both platforms. No more. We are not going to miss any video. In the video, I go fire. Go see him for YouTube now. Mm? Make sure you are subscribing to my YouTube. If you're not subscribed, go. Some of you will have difficulty looking for my old videos. You probably will catch them easy on YouTube if you just type Choco Millionaire and you add. All you need is type Choco Millionaire. Not Choco Milo. My Nigerian brothers who have been butchering my name. Chucky. Choco. Choco Milo. Choco Milo. No, it's Choco Millionaire. Melanie, if you want to go there, bad product, type them correctly. Then leave a space and type whatever you are looking for. Is it proof of funds? Type proof of funds. Is it cheap colleges in Canada? Add it and run a search. Go, go, go. YouTube will pull up those videos for you easily. You see, on YouTube, you go find them. My videos are all there. Most of my videos are actually there, she said. Uh, crop farmer, bro, you have no idea how many are in Canada and are coming to Canada because of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, the testimonies I've received in my mail, I haven't even posted a lot of them. So many people will say, you know what? There was a day I just gave up on everything in life. Came across your video. Your video fired my spirit up. I decided to take action. I'm a silent follower. Today I'm in Canada because of you. And my life now has turned around. I cannot believe it. I'm going to share some of these testimonies, which I have some of them in my mail. And uh, that's all. I just want you to succeed. Whether it be Dubai. Wherever you think you can make your dream happen, just make it happen. It's not just about Canada. If it be Germany, self, succeed for the give me. If it be Saudi Arabia, self, I beg. All I want me say you succeed. 
If it be Niger self, succeed for them. If it be Ghana self, just succeed. But no system, no, no bad, 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 whatever system. No, no wicked system must change your dreams. That's all I mean. Thrive in this world, wherever you feel comfortable. Singapore, thrive there if that is what you feel. Huh? Somebody's own is Canada. Somebody's own is UK. Somebody's own is Ghana. Somebody's own is... No matter what, wherever you find yourself, just thrive. If the system wants to frustrate you, frustrate the system. If the system refuse to allow you to frustrate the system, leave that system. Chuck away the toxo. If the Ghana system, they frustrate you, frustrate them by changing it. If it refuse to be changed, leave that damn system. <laughs> if you can't Canada self with the Canada system, no one will obey self. Leave and go to Costa Rica. I know they care. At the end of the day, you must show that you have dominion over your territories. Show that you are in charge. Show that your dream will never be compromised. That's all I care. Huh? You see, I'm, you see my big sister, Amma Manson. She be UK national. Though. But that's the day UK, ah, we, you see, say, UK, you know, they work for in level of dream. Now, it move good to buy. And Choco approves that. The idea is live anywhere on this damn continent or damn planet that you feel supports your dream. Canada did it for me. Maybe he might not do it for you. Maybe it's US. If the US doesn't do it, move. You see, huh? go back to Ghana. If Ghana works for you, go back there. That's all Choco stands for. This word belongs to God, your father. Use it. Don't let nobody change you somewhere. See, I'm, that's what I believe. Okay? All right. Beautiful. Awa, Chire, when are you going to talk about opportunities in Newfoundland and Labrador? We'll get there. Immigration is very vast. I can't do everything in one video. They will accuse me of being a podcast host, talking too much. You see, I'm burning their data too. So we'll get there. Gradually, we'll get there. All right? Emmanuel Okafo, Okafo Cha, you've been helpful to my Canada Japan today journey today from your video about saskatchewan i'm able to make research and apply for school there today i've gone far with my application all thanks to you thank you so much mr emmanuel or uh, okay for child god bless you uh rejoice chi unye thanks bro uh brenda selam uh zaglago today today i get to watch you live here maone Yirao, my sister maone Yirao, wherever you are maone Yirao, this year uh gifty and your name medical for nama maone Yirao, this year Thank you so much. Eh? When you guys are coming, all my Ewe brothers and sisters, when you are coming, please put, just, 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 just connect with me. Akpono, I'm just looking for that Akpono. I want Akpono for Ghana. They miss up. Sometimes they sleep so that they dream about them. I say, no way. You guys want me to make a, make a dream about that Akpono biscuit. That particular Ewe biscuit. I go biscuit. Then follow on Kang Ghana. Then you go trap me for that. If God say make a no come yet, I know they come. God say make a come, I will come. <laughs> if you dream and then you miss the bees, don't go. If you go, you know, okay, you go eat that bees, you don't know, come back. <laughs> All right. Go when God says it's time for you to go, okay? Cool. Please, can you test the school name? I've already done that. Look in the comment section on YouTube. You'll see that people have tested the name New Brunswick Community College. Oh, my mentor in uh, Canada. This is from Wendy's World. Then the next one is from Inkafu Clifford. Oh, my mentor in Canada. Very happy with you for your free lessons for us. You're teaching me so much. God bless you. Toy Ajay. Uh, I can come to Canada with my family when issued a student visa. You can actually come with your entire nuclear family if you want to. There are requirements for proof of funds. So take your time and watch my videos on Facebook on proof of funds if you want to move with your family. You will need a bit more money if you want to migrate with your entire family than coming alone. So make sure you don't just apply, but you've actually taken time to watch some of my videos and interviews with people who have done this on my Facebook channel. And even if you run a search, Chakra Meloni on YouTube and you add spousal visa, you may get all of that as well, okay? If you guys want me to do a detailed video on that, again, just comment and share the video. If we hit... 1,000 shares today on Facebook, eh? and maybe 1,000 likes on YouTube. Promise you I'm going to do that video. Let me say it again. 1,000 shares on Facebook, 1,000 likes on YouTube. I'm going to do that video, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, on how to come with your entire family again, if you want to. All right? All right. Welcome, Madam Ch Cherry. God bless you. Oh my goodness, I have my sister in the building. Next step with Cherry. You make videos on uh, uh, the Scandinavian countries and I, I'm happy that you've joined my live broadcast today. Next step with Cherry. Can you see her right here? Right here with the Canada flag there. 
next step with cherry go and look for that woman oh, fire brand you see him i'm telling you god is raising and when i pray to god i say grace more crazy people than me we must liberate the minds of the african youth the african governments will never hold our dreams down they won't they will bow to us corruption will be dismantled and for us to do it we need a new generation of people with the anointing and the fire choco milonia alone i cannot do it they will choke me we need more people go and follow next step with cherry on youtube look for her on facebook look for just joyce k canada huh Joyce K Canada Nest. Go and look for her on YouTube. Go and look for Just Ask Nancy on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Go and look for Peter Bewa TV on Facebook and YouTube. You see all these people? People like God is raised. Go and look for Mr. O.com. Mr. O D O T C O M dot com on Facebook and YouTube. If you're a teacher and you want to migrate, look, this 2023, I know I have set an ambitious goal. I said I want to help 100,000 people to Jackpot. If you don't understand Jakba, to say greener pastures. Not because I don't like the continent of Africa. Those of us who have been frustrated by the continent, we'll leave the continent for, do, for them to enjoy. We they go do medicine to ourselves. We they go empower ourselves. We are going to build ourselves up. We're going to fortify ourselves. And when we come back, they will see that we are a new breed of people. You see me now? You see how I look? This is what Jakba has done to me. Jakba is what has empowered me today. Jakba is what has widened my mindset today. Jakpa is what has made me hate corruption to that level. Sometimes when you are in a system of corruption, everything looks normal to you. You need to just leave and step out and see things better. We are not telling you to run from Africa. We are telling you that there are two kinds of people. Those who can withstand the nonsense and, and stay. Some of us who cannot. Me, I cannot withstand the nonsense. I cannot imagine somebody holding this dream that God has given me because of corruption. No way. Can you imagine the nonsense? You cannot get a hospital to send your kids. If you go, they say you should pay bribe. You call an ambulance, they say you should buy fuel. Huh? All this nonsense going on. Same universe. Everybody has 70 years to aspire. Everybody has 70 years to damn aspire. Huh? If Africa is working for you, Choco is telling you, stay. I don't be a witch or a wizard. Bewitching people who travel. It's none of your damn business. I say so. If it's working for you, stay. You have no reason to tell somebody not to travel. Shut the damn airport up. What are you shipping at the airport? Are you shipping goats? If you go to the ship for the airport, you open airports, they make people don't travel. You finish, you put passport for them. Where, where people will go? Eh? Your president says, you know, they seek medical care for your home country. Say, think. Think. Go to the store. Look for the product called Hyson. Buy some. Think. President of Nigeria, where does he get his medical care? UK. He wants you to go to what? <laughs> so it's, it, it won't make you back. Make me go back for. <laughs> See, um, there's nothing wrong with the continent of Africa. Beautiful continent. I say that all the time. The problems we have on the continent is what actually kills the dreams of people, frustrating people. In this day and age, why must, you, why must you beg somebody for electricity? Does it make any sense? You see this thing at the back here? It can blink like this until Jesus come. Look at this light. Eh? If you open the tap, it will respond. The tap will obey. Watch it. See ya. You see how it will obey? It will obey. Unless there is a technical issue. It will obey. Clear water. But you see for that? Unlimited internet. Huh? If I step on the road, traffic will obey. These be the things we need to be able to do our things normal. How do you run your business when there is no electricity? They, they bring you what? Bill. They know they bring you electricity, they bring you bill. No electricity, but they get bill. Even the water will obey. I say this year, this universe must obey. Nobody will frustrate you. If you are in charge in Africa and it's working for you, I beg, stay. Chocolate will tell you that everybody must move. Stay if it's working for you. Let those who want to go, let them go. If they go, they will come back at the right time. No be so. Uh huh. No be so. This is what happened when you see. Just by seeing next step with Cherry. See how you fire my spirit tap. Take me to the next level. That's why I say you need to hang around with the right people. Though. See how the baby, baby Jesus inside the tummy, leap like this. 
Ask Mary go meet Elizabeth. Say, yeah. So that all you need is just the right people around you. You'll be fired to the next level. God bless you, my sister, next step with Cherry. Look for her on YouTube. If you are watching me on YouTube right now, make sure you are following her. And check out her content. Not everybody must come to Canada. Some of us must come to Canada. Some of us must go to UK. Some must go to Germany. Some must go wherever. All I care about is choose your own place. So long as it works for you, I'm okay. And I'm happy. So long as you can do your stuff and you can build a beautiful family, be able to afford, be able to provide for your family, take a vacation at some point, I'm okay with it. You see, I'm, we will not enter the grave with our dreams inside us untapped. That's all I care for, all right? God bless you. We love Africa. But Africa must respond to the dreams of the African youth. Corruption must give way to the dreams of the African youth. You see it? The things that frustrate the continent must. You see, I'm, it must. It must. I watched a video yesterday by a content creator, Tayo Aini. Tayo Aina, I think that's his name. Tayo Aina. Let me look for him. Okay. Okay. You see? He did a video. See this video? Go and check it out. Look at the title. Right? Abandoned resort in Nigeria. Obodo Resort. Obodo uh, Ranch. Country, country Ranch. He explored a hundred million dollar abandoned resort village in Nigeria. Obodo. If you know Obodo. Hmm? Obodo Resort. Go and check it out. Investment. Wasted like that. That place that used to be a presidential resort. People with bullet. Go and look at it. Wasted. Wasted. Should I play for you to see? Should I play for you to see? Hmm? Should I play for you to see? Right? Yeah, we are not saying this is a situation everywhere. Let me play to minute four and see. Beautiful resort. If you, if you say the truth, you know that we are messed up in different ways. We've messed up the system. Huh? Why should he be telling people to come and invest in a place where there is so much corruption and bribery and everything like anything? Who is going to put his money there? Whatever you want to do, bribe. You want to go to hospital, bribe. You want ambulance, pay. You want everything, protocol, everything, protocol system. Who does anything good in protocol system? So those without their money, what happens to them? Damn, them, them, them systems. Evil systems. Where protocol determines a man's destiny and who, like, who lives. Sure. They can collapse right now for here. The ambulance, they will take them pick me up. They will bring helicopter self can land from my house in front. That's PS money. That'd be what some people they do. Hmm? into Obulu County Ranch. This is where you actually would stay. All the glasses you can see here, they're all bulletproof glasses. I don't even think anybody has stayed in this place for years because it just looks empty and everything is just rotting away. And this is one of the reasons why I actually stopped doing a lot of videos about tourism in Nigeria because every time you go to all these spots and you want to promote them, you get there and then by the time you see the reality of the place, it just makes you feel really sad. When I asked around, I was told that the last time any president ever visited was over 10 years ago due to the dilapidated conditions of the place. 100 million dollar project wasted. Why? You see, because we like putting the cat before the horse. You see, Anne? you don't just go and build tourism and say, Africa is nice, come and visit. You build a damn system first. Come on, and say so. Is there a road leading to that place? No. Is there electricity supply? No. Huh? You don't put all those things in place. They make people come Africa. What do they can do? See, huh? they built all this 300 million, forgot to put better roads to connect to the place. Forgot to put electricity there to make tourists to enjoy. So where they go and spend time for that? Go and take your time and go and watch that video. Go and watch the full video. The joy with which this gentleman went there with his crew to go and enjoy that beauty. Everything evaporated in no time. Why? Because systems must be built before investment. Put a good road there leading to that tourist zone. People will go. Make sure there is electricity when they are sleeping in, in their motels. People will go there. Make sure the things that are making life normal are there. But you go there, look, he's, he actually slept in the night without electricity. This is supposed to be a tourist center. He slept in the night without. In fact, if you watch the video, he had to actually turn his phone light on just to sleep. Damn. Yeah, some of you have the guts to be comparing me to somebody saying you are not doing video promoting Ghana. What are, what are we doing that I should promote? What are we doing? 
that place you want people to go to, what have you done to ensure that when people go there, life is good? Basic, basic common sense things. We know they do and we say make people come invest for where? People only put their monies in safe places. If no place is safe, nobody puts their money there. You can invest in a place because of patriotism. But business risks will tell you, you'll lose it in no time. It's just a fact. So me, I know they hate, I can bring white people or tech, convince them to come to Ghana. But I cannot bring them there when mosquito will give them malaria. And they will tell me, say, oh dude, you didn't tell us about that one. I cannot bring them and then something else will go and mess them up. No electricity. Dude, you didn't tell us we need a generator. Why? Because you are selling them one picture, but you are not telling them the reality. No good environment begs for investment. People come. If Dubai is good, you put your money there. If Ghana is good and the system is working, nobody will beg foreigners to come. They themselves will chase it. Focus on building a system. We Africans will not even travel anymore. Make sure the basic things of life are working. Make sure the roads are working. Make sure traffic does not drain our emotional and physical energies out of us when we sit in cars for four or five hours trying to get to a 30 minute destination. Make sure the basic things of life, make sure nobody has to jump loose just to get a document from the government or a social service institution. Make all these things simple. Make sure nobody has to waste time at the bank. 10 minutes maximum, you should be out of the bank. And tell me who is not going to be wanting to invest in your country. Everybody will want to do business with you. But you're fake people. You don't want to focus on these things. You want me to focus on the other side. And I'm telling you, you go around and you come back to it. Because we call them the foundations of life. Every economy only tries when the basis are there. See, huh? you can pretend you are not there. The system will frustrate you. You come back to it. Me, I did tell you. Go back. You come and thank you tomorrow. All right, my name is Chaco Melonia. Uh, let's go on there. Remember, don't let nobody frustrate your dream. Live your dream wherever God allows you to live your dream. Live your dream. If Africa is working for you, stay. If you don't want to stay, that one's not your choice. You go Jackpa or you go stay to Kbeme. Ah, Any guess that you remember somebody told you that? I say you must stay when it's working for you. Or if you have enough hope and strength and faith, stay. Yes, it's a choice. But if you choose to be blind to the realities and the system chokes you, remember, you go enjoy the, the frustration and the sadness and the cry together. We won't do appeal for fun for you when you need help. You chose to stay. God bless you. Have a good one. Take care. Share this video. 1,000 likes on YouTube. 1,000 shares on Facebook will bring me to the next video on how to move with your entire family. God bless you. Take care. I love you all. We don't need more money, even though money is good. Money is good. We don't need more money. We need more wisdom. Because with more wisdom, making money is easy. Take care. Bye-bye.